In October of 2012, Hurricane Sandy hit New York City with a force that we haven't seen in decades. It devastated the livelihoods and homes of hundreds of families in the Rockaways. And I had just separated from the Marine Corps only months earlier. And so when I saw that Team Rubicon was recruiting volunteers to go and help in the recovery effort, I jumped at the opportunity. When we arrived in the Rockaways, again, so it, it was like a, a wall of sand and water had just barreled through the community and filled up the first floor in the basement of hundreds of houses. And people were, were just distraught and devastated. They didn't know what to do. They didn't know how to recover. They didn't really know where to go or what to do to regain their footing. Now, Team Rubicon's founders did an excellent job of promoting the, the project to volunteers within New York City. And on Veterans Day weekend, which is also the Marine Corps birthday, thousands of volunteers showed up to help out with the volunteer effort. Now I had seen, except the system at that time wasn't set up to handle this type of throughput, but I had seen these challenges before as a logistics officer and in a previous political volunteer um, experience as well. And so I approached the leaders with a plan and I requested their permission uh, to execute on their behalf. And they gave me the green light. So I recalled an experience from 12 years earlier where I got on the phone to recruit people to fill a role so that they could train other people to do the same thing. The game plan was called Train the Trainer. It's something I learned in the Marine Corps as well. And the idea was that we would put our veterans to work in the field but in order to do that, we need to put volunteers to work on the home base to free the veterans up. The vets love this idea because we like to be in the field doing things. So they jumped at the opportunity and the system worked. We put over a thousand volunteers to work that weekend uh, and we helped out hundreds of homeowners in the process. Now this is what we could do for America when we train our parents and children alike uh, to solve problems at a profit and empower them to do so and to do so as a team which is the essence of entrepreneurship and public service now our clean green citizen owned and fully transparent credit union is going to help us get there and when we own our own money we are free to make our own rules to invest in planet-friendly startups civic organizations and also plans to restore and conserve our natural environment, land and water resources. And we'll share the profits with the people while we do it instead of with the bankers and we'll restore liberty in the process. Now, again, liberty is clean air, fresh water, healthy organic food, money that retains value over time and a constitution that is applied evenly to all people at all times by default and without exception. Liberty is also teamwork, making the dream work. For all Americans. So join me with your vote in voting to restore liberty in America on November 3rd. Thank you very much.